Hello, Pisces. I am going to be doing a reading for you. I got a bunch of new decks of cards, so I'm practicing using them. Um, I haven't really gotten the hang of using so many decks of cards. I have eight decks of cards now. So I think what I'm going to do is only do five cards from each deck. So let's see what the Shadowscapes Tarot has to say to Pisces. Okay, we got three of wands. So you're looking, you're looking into the future, looking ahead, um, desiring some results. We have the three of cups here. This could be, mm, I'm gonna need more information before I really know what that means. Um, let's see, we have the hermit. Uh, you are kind of keeping to yourself right now. Um, so what I'm seeing with the Three of Cups here and the Three of Wands, three could be a significant number for you too, um, but what I'm seeing with the Three of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Hermit is you really, you really want to step outside of your shell and go do something that you haven't done before and it could involve uh, social activity with friends or family, um, but you're kind of staying in your shell right now and you just want to stay home. We have the Six of Wands in reverse. Um, yeah, I don't see you putting a stop to that. Um, I see you staying in that kind of Permit energy. Okay, one more card from the Shadowscapes Tarot for Pisces. We have the Two of Cups in reverse. Ah, so you might be looking for love. You want love. That's what's wanting you to get outside of your shell. You want to go out and find someone new. Okay. This is the Tarot of the Mermaids. have the tower ooh, and that's clarifying um, the three of wands so I don't see this as something bad happening to you um, I see it as you being afraid of change and that's what's keeping you from getting out of your shell swords clarifying the three of cups I feel like you might be afraid that people are going to stab you in the back you might be scared of people and then we have the knave of swords clarifying 
the hermit. Um, someone might be spying on you or you might be spying on somebody else. And then we have Seven of Wands clarifying Six of Wands in reverse. You're definitely going through an inner battle. We have the Ace of Chalices clarifying the Two of Cups. The Ace of Chalices in reverse, um, clarifying the Two of Cups in reverse. So I feel like you're afraid to give your heart to somebody. You want to, but you're afraid to. Now I'm going to pull from the Mermaid Tarot. Mermaid Tarot, what do you have for Pisces? Let's start getting something good. Come on, Mermaid Tarot. What do we have for Pisces? Okay, we have the Five of Wands clarifying the Tower and the Three of Wands. And the Five of Wands is in reverse. you're afraid that people are going to corner you, stab you in your back. Like, I feel like you have a lot of social anxiety right now, and it's blocking you. Um, we have the sun. Sun is good. Sun is telling me you have a lot of hope for uh, your social situation. Like, you want the best. You want lots of social activity. You want to be social. Uh, then we have the Six of Wands. Clarifying the Knave of Swords and what was this, the Hermit? Yeah. Um, it's telling me you have so much you want to talk to people about, um, but you're kind of afraid of people judging you. Uh, we have the devil clarifying the six of wands and the seven of wands. Um, you might be struggling with some addiction right now that is making you feel like people are going to judge you or um, not... You're indulging in something that is making it hard for you to um, be social with people and hard for you to get this romance that you want. And then we have the hangman in reverse clarifying the two of cups and the ace of chalices. So that's telling me that... Um, you 
need to seek some clarity before you can start a relationship with anyone. You do not have the clarity needed for that. Okay. And now we are moving on to, I don't know, some other mermaid deck. I'm not gonna pull it up. But this is another mermaid deck that I just got today. Um, I have a goal to get every mermaid tarot deck there is an oracle deck. Actually, you know what? No, there's, there's more mermaid tarot decks. I almost have them all. Okay. So what do we have in store this week for Pisces? You have the Four of Swords, Recovery. Yeah, you're recovering from something. Um, seeing that we got the Devil here, it could be some sort of addiction and it caused some strain on your relationship with your friends and so that's making you nervous to be social with your friends and start a new relationship. Then we have justice, balance. That's clarifying the sun and the ten of swords and three of cups. So you're seeking, you have positive, you have positive um, feelings about balancing out your friendships. You look forward to having balance with your friendships in the future. Um, you just don't have that balance right now, but you, that's something that you look forward to in the future is having a balanced relationship with your friends in the future where you're not depending on this addiction that you once did. Um, have the Ten of Wands, responsibility. Like, there's a lot of movement with that. Um, so I feel like you need to take action to take responsibility of your life before you can um, be social again and be social in a balanced way and find the romance you're looking for. So then we have the Six of Wands, success, but it's in reverse. So I feel like you're still struggling with this addiction and still struggling to find the success of overcoming this addiction. And that's why you're still struggling with your relationship with friends and finding that special someone. And then we have the Queen of Cups. I feel like this is definitely your energy. You're trying to offer your heart, or you want to offer your heart to someone. You have, you have a very big heart, very big, wonderful heart that you want to give to someone. But I just don't feel like you're ready yet. I feel like you need to overcome this addiction first. And once you do, you'll be able to have your Two of Cups. You'll be able to give your Ace of Cups to someone. Uh, but you're just not ready yet. So I'm going to pull some universal oracle cards. You know, I think it's just called universe oracle cards. Um, let's see what the universe has to say to you. When I lean toward love, I am led. And then we have, I surrender to a power greater than me. Well, that's an AA card or an NA card if I've ever heard one. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's totally, um, you're surrendering to the power of your addiction. And you 
know that uh, you got to surrender to your higher power if you're going to overcome that. Okay. And I'm going to pull from these oracle cards. This is like the mermaid and dolphins and other magical ocean creature oracle cards or something like that. Um, this is a new deck too. I got four new decks today, so <laughs> you should see a lot of new decks. I have two more new decks on the way that I will be getting soon. One is a brand new deck. It, it hasn't even been released yet. I have it on pre-order. One here we got the pilot whale. Your, you and your fate can't and can, you are your own fate and can. Can I say this? You are your own fate and control your own destiny. I see this as you taking charge of your addiction and controlling your destiny with it. which I know you can do. You have the power to do it once you surrender to the power that is greater than you. light and an image of the world and oneness integrates the two them and you interesting and now we're going to move on to probably my favorite oracle deck that I got today. I don't know. I like them all, but this one's just so unique. And I feel like it's going to be very useful for me. This is the Water Crystal Oracle deck. got to have that self-love if you're going to overcome an addiction. And you got to have that self-love before you can love anyone else. You can't love yourself until you, or you can't love anyone else. What is it RuPaul says? You can't love anyone else until you love yourself or something like that. And then we have truth. And I'm going to flip this over. These are our two water crystals. You can meditate on those while I shuffle the other deck. Okay, this last deck is the Mermaid and Dolphin Oracle deck. We got tranquility. I feel like this kind of ties in with the hermit. You might be eager to give your love to someone, but I feel like you really need to make that time to relax, be still, enjoy your solitude, indulge in much needed self-care. So that her hermit card is very important for you. 
because this is the time that you need for yourself. Even though you might be craving the socialness, but you need that time to yourself. And then we have protection. You, are, you and your loved ones and your possessions are safe and protected in heaven. It's funny because we also had this, I surrender to a power greater than me. So I feel like there's definitely um, this need for you to surrender to, the, surrender to this higher power right now. Now I'm going to pull from the charms. Okay, we got a starfish. Um, starfish. No, I'm not positive about this, but I think starfish can regenerate. So I think that's giving me this like regeneration thing where like um, your life was possibly, um, your life was possibly like maybe you were down in the dumps and you lost all hope, but I feel like you're going to regenerate. Uh, your life and come back on top. Then we have this crystal here. Um, I see that as clarity. We also got that with the Sagittarius. Um, I was saying that um, you need some clarity. And did we get the hangman? I think we did. Maybe we didn't. No, we didn't get the hangman. But I still feel like uh, you need some clarity. And I was mentioning this with Sagittarius too, and since uh, both Sagittarius and um, Pisces are ruled by Jupiter, I came up with this little thing that I'm going to do tonight. Um, and that is take a quartz crystal, put it in a bowl of water, and um, light a white candle and like meditate with that and then pour the water that had the quartz crystal in it over my hair so it's just like this purity going over your crown and this clarity going over your crown so um and then maybe like ring a bell too like just clear the air, clear, clear your whole crown chakra. And then we have the fairy, that, that was something that we also got with Sagittarius, um, interesting. Then we have a heart, so I definitely feel like you're, um, feeling like you want to give your heart to someone, you've got a lot of love to give. You have a butterfly, you could be going through a transformation right now. We have um, this best friend charm. So I feel like you really want some best friends. You're longing for some best friends. We have the seashell. Um, I feel like You have this need to protect yourself and then we have the heart so you could be protecting your heart right now then we have judgment so yeah I definitely feel like you're making judgments about people and you might be judging yourself um, a little too harshly and then we have uh, the six of pentacles, so you might be, um, you might be not getting your fair share of something, um, that's all 
I have for you, Pisces. Um, I would say just take this time to yourself. Um, be alone and be happy being alone. And um, really work on clarity, seeking your inner clarity, um, doing some uh, purification spells and um, raising your vibration and getting yourself out of that devil situation there, that addiction and temptation.